The Texas Rangers minor league system has been at or near the top of professional baseball the past couple of seasons. This year, pitching seems to be the strong point in both AA Frisco and AAA Round Rock. Starting pitcher Neil Ramirez played for both the Express and Rough Riders last year, but his numbers were not impressive. He had an 8-13 record with a 6.28 earned run average, but this season he's been a pleasant surprise on the mound for Frisco with a 3-1 record and a 2.93 ERA, leading the team with 55 strikeouts in 43 innings pitched. So what's the difference, you ask? After last year with the year I had, I came into this season with with a really positive outlook. You know, I think last year I, I tried to do too much, a lot, and you know this year I've just come in and said, you know what, I'm just going to go out there and compete and have fun. Ramirez also has a 0.91 whip, walking 18 while allowing just 21 hits and 14 earned runs. Ramirez is going after hitters with more confidence this year. Right now I'm just trying to go after guys early in the count, you know, not be too fine with my pitches and, and mix all my pitches in. And you got to learn too early in the game, it's okay to be a little bit more on the plate and as you get guys in swing mode, then you can expand it. One final note on Ramirez, Frisco has allowed him to pitch deeper into ball games, partly because Neil has been so dominant in the early going with a low pitch count. This six foot four inch, 190 pound right-hander has a fluid motion and likes pitching deep into games. Our president, Nolan Ryan, that was a classic example of a guy who just went out there and competed for nine innings, you know, and that's what I want to get to is be a guy who can be a horse, go out there and, and you know, get into the seventh and eighth inning. You know, Neil Ramirez might be the most effective starting pitcher in this Frisco lineup, but the relief pitcher of the month in the Rangers organization also resides right here in Frisco. In fact, it is Randy Henry who allowed just one unearned run in 18 and a third innings pitched in the month of April. I think the, the easiest way to give up runs and to have problems is when you're walking guys and when, you know, if you're giving any free bases, you know, if you make them hit the ball, you're going to have a lot more success. So that's something that's that's been really big to me is trying to go out there, trying to attack people, not give up any free runs, not give up any free bases, and then uh, just mixing my pitches in and being able to throw strikes with the pitches I throw. I'll throw the, the fastball to get ahead, and then, you know, the cutter is probably my better pitch that I throw having a slider for a little bit different of a speed difference. And then if, if someone gets on to what I'm throwing, maybe a lefty or something, throw in a change up every now and then. But I think a lot of what I do is according to control and putting the ball where I want to. Frisco catcher Tomas Talese was named the defender of the month for Texas at the minor league level, throwing out 10 of 18 would be base stealers. Every year I improve my defense, you know, I, I threw out a, a, lot of, a lot of guys. You know. Always I think about move my feet uh, quick and throw the best I can. Round Rock outfielder Joey Butler was named the player of the month in the Rangers organization at the minor league level while batting 341 with 12 runs batted in and three home runs in the month of April. You know, you're going to have good games, you're going to have bad games. The, the key is to stay even, even kill all season. Just go out and play the game. You know, no, no worries, no no pressure, just go out and play the game. Low A Hickory's CJ Edwards was named the minor league pitcher of the month for the Rangers. He had a 1.93 ERA and 23 and a third innings pitch to go with 29 strikeouts with just seven walks. Down on the farm, Jeff Power, Rangers Insider.